Okay, hi everyone. This is uh, Mrs. Brawlsma. This week for our art project, we are actually combining with music and your music teachers to create an instrument. And this instrument is a harmonica, a homemade harmonica. And you guys, these are so fun. So what you can do is you will need a piece of paper. Um, and this is called craft paper. It's a little bit thicker, but any paper will do. Um, you'll need two popsicle sticks a straw, and um, rubber bands, or I actually am using some of my daughter's hair bands. And if you have crayons, those will work great. If you have um, colored pencils would work well. Don't use markers for this because we are actually going to put, be putting this instrument to our mouths to make some noises. So if you use markers, you might end up with a colorful mouth. Um, because the marker will rub off on your lips. So crayons or colored pencils work well. So what you're going to do is you're going to start by just adding some pattern to your harmonica. And what I'm going to do is I'll probably create just a pattern of repeated colors here. So I have blue. Maybe I'll do a little line of red. Here I'm going to put this paper underneath so I don't get it on the table. Lots of green. So cool to see all the green outside. I love it. The green grass. It's so bright. The flowers coming up. Such a cool time of year. And maybe I will do red again. And then blue. You can color these however you want. You can do stripes or rainbow. What's next? Red. I'll try to go fast here so the video doesn't get too long. And if I go too fast, you can always pause it while you're creating. Let's see what kind of songs or music you can come up with with these homemade harmonicas. Okay, so what you're going to do next is you have your colored pencils or your popsicle sticks. You're done with your crayons. You need to cut a piece of this paper the size of your popsicle stick. So what I'm going to do is lay my popsicle stick right on top of the tape paper. I'm taking a pencil and I'm drawing a line so that I can see how big my piece of paper has to be and how big I have to cut it. You might need help. Um, your parents might need to help you with this step a little bit or getting your supplies. Or an older brother or sister would work great. So then what you're going to do is you're going to put your piece of paper that you cut the size of the popsicle stick right on top of the popsicle stick. And make sure this popsicle stick is colored side down because you want to be able to see that color. And you put your other one right on top like you're making a little sandwich. Very simple. Right? And then take your rubber band. You're going to tie your rubber band. Sorry, I went out of the video there. On one end. Okay. Then you're going to take a straw and you're going to cut two pieces of your straw. About mm, that long. What should I say? Like an inch? Then you're going to tuck this straw. inside of your sticks like that. And if you can see, I went on focus. I put it on top, my straw is on top of the paper and the stick. Okay. And then on this end, excuse me, <clears throat> I'm gonna put my straw under the paper. Okay? And then I'm going to squish this stick, and you can see that my straw kind of squishes a little bit too, doesn't it? And you're going to wrap this side. You want to try to keep that paper nice and straight, because that's what gives you your nice sound. Beautiful sound. I 
I suppose if you had like the big craft sticks, it would work just fine with that too. There you go. Your own, very own, do-it-yourself harmonica. Should we see if it works? <laughs> and if you want to change the sound a little bit, you can even slide these in. And I was told that changes the tone, but Mr. Oldenburg will probably tell you about that, right? <laughs> or Miss Price. Oh. Oh. Let's try to find it again. Here we go. I think I need to pull my paper straight again. Have fun with this!